NASA has now made a shocking discovery. There was definitely life on Mars. This new finding could change our plans to colonize and utilize Mars forever. But how do we proceed now? In light of the latest discoveries, can NASA still justify sending humans to Mars? Mars is the planet in the solar system that most resembles Earth. Unlike Venus, it is quite suitable for human life. Although no human could ever stand or walk unprotected on Mars, we could adapt our technology to survive in the environment. Protected by special spacesuits and breathing systems, Mars would be a realistic alternative to Earth in terms of surface conditions, temperatures, and gravity. But right now, we have to seriously ask ourselves whether a human will ever set foot on Mars. The latest discoveries are shocking and could thwart plans by NASA and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk to colonize Mars as early as the 2030s. What exactly has NASA discovered on Mars now, and why is it a difficult to assess danger? Mars, a green world like our own? It is no secret that Mars is a fascinating but desolate world. So far, we have seen nothing but rock and endless red deserts. Around 20 probes and stationary vehicles have so far examined Mars in detail, and these research units are considered the vanguard of human colonization on Mars. Before NASA or SpaceX send the first humans to Mars, they want to be sure that the astronauts can survive there. The fact is that the first people to take this adventure will have to be astronauts who have undergone rigorous training. Similar to elite military fighters, these people have to overcome incredible challenges and face psychological pressures that we can hardly imagine. Alone in a strange world, so far from home that no help can be expected if something goes wrong. This, combined with the drastically different environmental conditions, can quickly get to people. Do you know how Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins, the first men to walk on the moon, were prepared? These three astronauts underwent a rigorous program. They were dropped, equipped only with parachutes and emergency supplies over rough terrain such as a jungle landscape or over the Antarctic, and the three of them had to blaze a trail for themselves. They had to be able to survive for days and weeks in isolation, and they had to have what it takes to face unknown risks. All these aspects of space travel are quickly forgotten when we look at the glorious images of the moon landing and the frenetic honor paid to the astronauts afterwards. The first Mars explorers will feel the same way. Their names will also be unforgettable in the stories of world history, and they too will become heroes. But they could also die. Even the approach to Mars is a risk that we currently find difficult to calculate. If the missions fail, the names will probably be quickly forgotten. The names of the Apollo astronauts who burned alive in the capsule during a first test run on Earth are almost unknown today. Most of the volunteers who have registered to explore Mars so far are soldiers, mostly fighter pilots, who later pursue a career as astronauts. In addition to the will to be one of the most extraordinary people on Earth, these pioneers usually have an almost insatiable curiosity and thirst for adventure. The unique opportunity to be the first to explore a distant world like Mars is what drives these people. Mars may be well-researched, but we still know very little about the planet, and we know almost nothing about how people will feel and behave on another planet. Dangers may lurk on Mars that we have not yet been able to imagine. How dangerous are the Mars quakes? Did you know that Mars is constantly shaking? It is fascinating that this planet apparently experiences internal shocks very frequently, which lead to more or less pronounced quakes. Mars quakes are usually not as devastating as they can be on Earth, but they are more continuous than earthquakes. We know very little about the interior of Mars, and this could be a source of danger that we have underestimated so far. Seismic measurements of Mars quakes have shown amazing results. Mars could have mysterious cavities inside. Thanks to the quakes, scientists can listen to the interior of the planet very well, as with an ultrasound. The quakes pass through the upper layers of the planet, revealing a great deal about its composition. 
Understanding the inner workings of Mars is crucial to understanding movements on the surface. Imagine that Mars is partially porous or brittle in its interior. In the worst case, entire regions could rupture or collapse, and now imagine that there are settlements there. On Earth, we are familiar with such phenomena as suddenly sinking neighborhoods or even crevices like the San Andreas Fault. In addition, scientists are naturally eager to learn what is really in any cavities under the Martian surface. Simulations have shown that Mars could have been a similarly vibrant world to Earth a few hundred million years ago. It is possible that Mars had forests, rivers, oceans, clouds, weather, and a climate that was subtropical or Mediterranean. Then the planet changed. It increasingly lost its atmosphere and thus the ability to bind liquid water on the surface. Little by little, life disappeared and eventually only what we can see today remained, endless rocky deserts. But researchers have also found that certain residues from this living time could have retreated underground. Similar to the relics of the dinosaur age millions of years ago, hidden in the depths of the Earth's layers, with caves, mines, shafts, and possibly even underground lakes and oceans below them, similar residues could have formed on Mars. If there ever was life or even civilization on Mars, its relics would now be buried under a layer of debris and rock that is several meters or even hundreds of meters thick. But what if our settlers and explorers begin to make discoveries at these depths that we hadn't reckoned with or that are even dangerous? Imagine that, at some point, extraterrestrial explorers or our own descendants unsuspectingly dig up our underground nuclear waste storage facilities or come across barrels of poisons and other waste that we humans store in tunnels and underground galleries. Mars as a habitable world? Have you ever heard of terraforming? It sounds crazy, but Elon Musk's plans include bombing the cold poles of Mars with nuclear explosive devices to melt the water, create an artificial greenhouse effect, and thus create a kind of biosystem, in theory at least. As utopian as it may sound, plans for terraforming are scientifically proven. It could really work. But what do we do if we no longer have control over the cycles that we have initiated? What if we upset the balance of Mars and possibly even endanger our own planet? Some scientists warn against overly crazy plans to intervene massively in a distant world. We must not see our planet as an isolated world. Similar to how all systems on our Earth are interconnected and interact, it is the same in space. Even if Mars is far away, and other planets are even further away or seem distant to us, these celestial bodies are all somehow connected. We don't know what would happen if we artificially transformed Mars into a habitable world. And we also don't know whether our world only became habitable because Mars no longer was itself. To this day, we don't know exactly how life came to Earth. It could theoretically have come from Mars. The current rover missions are revealing astonishing things. We humans have now invested billions of dollars in Mars exploration. Currently, the Perseverance and Ingenuity rovers are the most active on Mars. The two are separately exploring crater worlds that appear to have once been lakes or small seas. So far, neither of the two rovers has found any evidence of bacterial life or anything similar but there are indications of liquid cycles and phenomena such as erosion. Among the strangest finds are a structure resembling a coral and stones that sparkle strangely. These could be the first indications that Mars is not quite as boring as we thought. Although the two rovers are constantly treating us to new images and showing us impressively sharp pictures of Mars, we have to realize that they are proceeding incredibly slowly. Both rovers cover at most several meters per day and have thus far only explored a tiny fraction. Of course, we have already scanned, mapped, and searched the entire surface of Mars with satellites and orbiters like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Some interesting finds have been made and amazing things are constantly being revealed. Among the most famous images are the so-called Mars Face or the Martian Pyramids, which could be revealed as pareidolia, an optical illusion. 
Mars can seem strangely familiar to us. This could be tricky if we think we already know this world too well. Imagine if aliens landed two or even ten rovers on Earth, each exploring a different area. The rovers could travel at a speed similar to our Mars rovers, spend decades exploring, and still only see a very small part of our world. Satellite scans of the surface would of course reveal our cities, settlements, natural structures, and perhaps even our habits. And yet the alien observers would know very little about our planet as a whole. We know a similar story about Mars. The environmental conditions on Mars are still largely unknown. We know very little about the interrelations and chain reactions in this world. Violent Martian storms, sudden gas emissions, destruction by Martian dust, and other risks are incalculable. Did you know, for example, that moon dust can be deadly? The moon's fine and razor-sharp dust destroyed the zippers of the spacesuits of the Apollo missions, and particles introduced by moon dust have caused severe allergic diseases in NASA employees on Earth. The rock is also so sharp that equipment must be made of special fibers. We already know this about the moon and can prepare for it, but on Mars, there are many more unknown dangers lurking. The first astronauts to learn there will be at the mercy of this uncertainty for months. Subscribe now, the most exciting videos are yet to come.